lousy welder. Next time you go get it, Fergus. But we're sorry, it's just my wedding ring. It's gone. I'm always so clumsy. It's not worth much. That's all I have if we're going to steal a Nazi U-boat, oh, I need set to repair that thing on the table. Help him That's with his That's all I work. need. Well, actually, mm -hmm. would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transport. Like I'm the goddamn errand boy. <laughs> William. Do you have a moment? Hast du Platz gewetzt gesehen? Schon wieder mit dieser Unsinn! Mein Gott, was ist nur los mit dieser Leute? I want this. With you. Like this. Always. It will happen, William. Believe it. Finish up your dirty laundry. You're leaving. But not today. <sighs> Listen to my voice, Blaskovich. There you are now, inside sewage tunnels. The intestinal tracks of the city. And deeper below, the Berlin catacombs. The vast complex. The most secure site in all Berlin. The central munition stockpile of the Nazi regime. The things we could do with those weapons. Riot. We revolt. This access route is waterlocked. Impenetrable to outsiders. There's only one way to breach across the perimeter. It's a tunnel glider. The Nazis use them for maintenance down there. We've been trying for years to bring it up to working order. This is the first phase of the plan to gain access to set underwater safe keep. The tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the Berlin catacombs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Good luck there, Blaskovich. These are deep waters. William, can you hear me? You have to make your way all the way through the sewer tunnels and into the Berlin catacombs. I'll try to guide you through. obstacles in your way. Don't lose track of the tunnel glider. It's your only source of oxygen. I was a kid. The red tide was rising. Went in the water on account of disobeying father. Felt like my skin was on fire. Like my skin was on fire. You are right underneath the Eisenwald prison now. Caroline told me a few inmates tried to escape through the sewer system with some valuables a few years ago. They didn't make it very far.
no one she could trust to keep them. So she wrote them all down. I will radio the diary entries to your audio lock. If you find the time, you can listen. It's in Polish, but I'll translate. Ramona writes, May 11th, 1940. I've only been back home for three days, and now the Nazis have arrived in town. They killed Jakub Brozek. He was shot in the head. His horse was blocking the road. He taught me how to French kiss. I'm going to do something about this situation. mechanism to fill the basin with water. It will have to be all the way to the top for you to swim across. May 12, 1940. The Nazis have taken over the police station. They're asking local people to volunteer for service. I'm going to volunteer. I'm going to find a way to kill them. May 18th, 1940. Daytime, I care for the sick working at the asylum. On the evenings, I go to town to prepare supper for the Nazis at the police station. They seem to trust me. I think I can lure one of them away. If I can get a Nazi alone, I think I can kill him. I have never killed anyone. I don't know how to fight or fire a weapon. I will have to be smart about it. I miss the university. Perhaps what I'm about to do will be a learning experience. Page 11. Swam across Forney Lake on a bed over 10 soldiers. It wasn't as dark as this.
June 25, 1940. The Nazi appears to have a very high opinion of his mother. I learned this as he was bleeding to death at the end of my knife in the outhouse next to the bakery. Muti, Muti, he whimpered. My hands were shaking. Nearly dropped my knife. I had told him I would kiss him, and he let me lead him outside into the night. November 29th, 1940. The Nazi appears to love his sausage. I learned this as he kept on eating his supper, even though the cyanide must have ruined the flavor. His eyes rolled back, all white, yet he kept chewing. The cyanide I stole from my mother's cabinet. At times, I am struck with pangs of remorse. But then, I think of Jakub Brozek.